before we do the boozy news every week, we need to find out our BAC. <gasps> There it is, just enough. I can't drive the Winnebago anywhere, <laughs> but I sure as heck can deliver the news. Let's do it. Well, you can watch all that other crap, but we'll show you where it's really at. Cause there's nothing like the news is a blue. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boozy News, all the news to make you sober. Tonight, in Georgia, a couple whose daughter canceled their lavish wedding decided to donate all the homeless. That's right, they had a winning for 200 people for the homeless. They canceled the open bar, though. In Buffalo, New York, where is that skunk smell coming from? Residents have been complaining for once. For weeks, that's a combination of weeks and months. For for once, for once about the skunk smell. Where is it coming from? Oh, surprise, surprise. The cops who had been capturing the skunks humanely then dropped them off at the police station, shot them, and threw them out into the outdoor uh, food storage receptacle. What do you call that? A freezer. They stuck it into the freezer. That's where the skunk smell is coming from. Reportedly, quite a few of them were just cats who had run under a freshly painted fence. But that's just mincing cat hairs, isn't it? Audrey Crabtree, a 99-year-old woman, has just graduated from high school. Hey, man, calculus is a bitch. I don't want to change for gym either. <laughs> In old news, in old news, everybody, Rue McClanahan, when she was cast as Blanche Devereaux in TV's hit Golden Girls in 1985, was only 51 years old. That's it, when she was considered like a golden girl, like, oh, gross, she's having sex, gross. You know what? You know who else is 51? Axl Rose. You want to call him a golden girl and see what happens? I don't know. Maybe you do. In other Golden Girls news... Betty White is friggin' hot! Boobies! They used to always put stars over your boobies back then, because your, bo your boobs, uh... Don't you know that you are a boobie star? In candy news, in candy news, M&Ms are liars! There is no way there were eight servings in that bag! Miller High Life is still the champagne of beers, and Andre is still the beer of champagnes. A man was arrested after allegedly biting the ear off of another uh, person outside of a Grateful Dead cover band concert. He was charged with one count of mutilation and one count of going to see a Grateful Dead cover band. And now, here's Charlie Cockpit, the singing airline pilot, with Adventure News! Charlie? Hello, everybody. This is Charlie Cockpit, the singing airline pilot. Tra -la 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 -la. That's almost like for the holidays, because it's fall. <laughs> and I said tra -la and fall-la. <laughs> But anyway, hey, remember last week we talked about the, um, the clown? Do you remember we talked about the clown? Well, I have some exclusive clown footage from uh, the Daily Mail or the Daily News or whatever. But take a look at this. Hey, remember last week? When I told you about that going to Colorado, <laughs> well, it turns out I was wrong. You should go there, because this week they're giving out free joints if you help out with a, <laughs> with a flood. You know, I want to move there with news like that, huh? This is good. In Venezuela, 
the government has taken over the toilet paper factory because they couldn't keep up with supply and demand. This is true. I just read this. Uh, I saw this on the internet. So I've come up with my own product called Rear End Rag that's a reusable product that you use over and over and over and over again. It goes rear and rag. It's as easy as oil on a flag. Well, toilet paper can be quite the chafer. Use rear and rag. Now with more corn catchers than ever. Back to you, Nikki. Thanks, Charlie. Hey, for all of you that keep asking, I can't tell you what airline Charlie flies for. All I can tell you is it's a big one. From all of us at Boozy News, thank you so much. Don't puke in the car. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Nothing like boozy news.